Yes, sir. The new stickers are here. Support the channel. The link is below. Get them while they're hot. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, from my last video, you guys already saw that I started stripping some of the stuff off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start grinding all of this out on the inside of the door. I am going to leave this right here so you could pop the door open. I did disconnect the locking me mechanism from here. Maybe cut it right here. So basically I got to leave this right here. So I'm going to make my cut somewhat like this. Come up this way. Come down. Go around this. Go this way. Keep going. Go down. Go around that. And so on. It's a pretty crappy day today. We've been having snow. But it feels good out though. It's like around 33, 34 degrees. Something like that. Alright, so I'm not going to bore you guys. I'm just going to get to it. Alright you guys, so today's the day after. I went ahead and I sprayed some purple power. Let me see, this camera, focus. What's going on here? Alright, so I went ahead and I trimmed a whole bunch of the stuff. I left this chunk right here. So basically the support from the bottom going up, going around. Because of the fact that that's what's holding the window up. And I got the little motor over there. I want the window to go up and down for now. Um, I'm also thinking of replacing the window with some like Lexan or something. And that would also line up my, my door. And if I did that, I was thinking maybe buying a piece that was exactly like this window. So it could go up and down also. And maybe leaving this setup that I have. I'm not going to pull these crash bars out. Because of the fact that this is on the driver's side and I do not have a roll cage. I am going to pull the ones on that side, on the passenger side. So that whole door is going to be completely gutted. The only thing that's going to be left is just a door handle puller with maybe a strip going across like that or something. Over here, I didn't do the strip across. I went ahead and I just like sort of did it like that. Um, this is the first time I... I'm doing this. I've never done this before. So the door does feel a lot lighter. I do have all these wires right here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. But it is looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. And we'll see what else we do. 
Alright, so I just realized that the blade is almost gone on my grinder. I'm going to have to go pick up another blade. So I went ahead and instead I started on the sunroof. I took off the cover. And this is what it kind of looks like right now. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all these little bolts that are right here. This one, there's one right here. There's another one over here. You just take them all off and possibly drop this this metal tray that's right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Sunroof is almost off. I went ahead, I took off those bolts, like I told you, all around. And it's dropping already, look. And it had these hoses on each corner, each four of the, cor the four corners going down. I went ahead and I just snipped them, all, all four of them. Disconnected the wires. And basically the only thing holding it right now is just like two or three bolts on that side. I'm going to go ahead and release them. And... We'll try to pull this out of the car. Alright, so I went ahead and I finished loosening the screws. And this thing came down. And I never realized how heavy this is. But it is super, super heavy. This is going to be great. I never realized how heavy this is. And it weighs a good 40 pounds. 30, 40 pounds, even more. It's got some nice weight to it. Alright, with the sunroof out and no blade to cut the other door, what I'm going to do now is remove the mirrors. Take both of the mirrors off. These are just 8 millimeters. I only had two of them, there was one missing. And basically what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to make a block off for right here. Either out of, out of uh, fiberglass or out of uh, carbon fiber, one of the two. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the other side, on the passenger side. Alright, I got these off. I'm going to go ahead and pull this mirror out. What's going on? This little clip right here, it's getting stuck. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the wing. We no longer need to have a wing on there. Basically, these next few videos that I do, it's all going to be about weight reduction. So I don't know if this is boring for you guys. Or if you guys are pretty interested in this. But the next few videos. All weight reduction. We're going to try to remove as much stuff as we can. Out of this car. Cut out as much as we can out of it. Um, I'm hoping to be able to crawl under the car. And see what I can cut out from underneath the car. I know a lot of people don't do that. But. I really want to make this as light as possible. Remember the lighter the car is. The faster it's going to go. Especially at the drag strip. Which is what, what I'm building. That's the reason for this weight reduction. If you watch my other videos. You guys already know that I'm doing this because I'm ready to go to the track.
it's not that heavy of a part. Weighs maybe like three pounds, four pounds. Look at all the stuff over here. The pile of stuff that we have already. I really want to get all this stuff on the scale and add it all up. All right. So I was going to go ahead and post up the video already, you guys, but I ended up going to the store. I got some new blades. So I decided to make this video a little bit longer. There's three blades in here. Also, I got a package in the mail. Check this out. As you guys know, we have problems with lighting. We have big problems with lighting in this garage. So check out what I got right here. We're gonna be installing this. It holds five light bulbs. So basically I'm gonna turn that one into five. It's gonna plug in. There's gonna be five light bulbs. Let's do this before we do anything else and see if it works. All right, so I went ahead and I put the bulbs in this. Check out what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that one and plug this one in. We'll see if it makes a big difference or not. What you guys think? Does it look brighter in here? I got another one right here. I'm gonna put this one in the middle now. So I'm gonna put that one right there in the middle. All right, so I just updated you guys on the status of the lights. It's right there. I just did this. So you guys know what's going on. If I'm recording the video, I'm updating you guys. I hope you guys like that, that new feature that was unlocked on my YouTube account. So I'm going to go ahead, take that one off, put this one up there. What do you guys think? Does it look brighter in here? In the garage? Maybe I should get some LEDs. Some cool white. This is like sending a, a warm white sort of color. It's supposed to be soft white. But it does make a difference. You can see so much better in here. My neighbor dropped off his truck a few days ago. I did the doors. I don't know if you guys remember on my other video. I did the, both of the doors. I did the side molding. And now the weekend was over. He took it to work and he dropped it off again. So I could finish off and do the, the last piece. You guys can see all the rust that I've knocked off already. But this side is not as bad as the other side. The other side was really bad. But either way, let's get back to our project with the Civic. All right, you guys, I didn't film the door as I was cutting it because I had some company over, but check out what it's starting to look like. This is the passenger door. 
I still got to take out the crash bars that are back there. Um, I went ahead and I snipped them a little bit right here. But look at my blade. It's almost gone. So I still got a chunk over here that I got to cut up and around. Got to get those two crash bars. And I'm trying to figure out a way to keep the window up. So maybe I'll leave this piece right here for now. And maybe uh, take it off. Dismantle it as much as I can. And put it back. Just to hold my window up for now. Until I figure something out. But it's looking a lot better. Look at all the metal that I took off. It's all in there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night for tonight. I got to go to work early in the morning. But I will continue this tomorrow after work again. Alright you guys. So I think we're going to go ahead and leave the rest of that other door on the Civic for a different episode. And we're going to close this video off with my turkey. I'm about to prep my turkey. I'm the one that cooks in the house. Whenever we got to make uh, special events, I'm the one that, that makes all the party stuff. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bunch of butter. I have the butter over here already. I'm going to add a bunch of ingredients to it. I'm going to go ahead and separate it. I'm going to take that butter and I'm going to stuff it underneath the skin. And then I'm going to lay whatever extra butter that has a whole bunch of uh, ingredients on it. Lay it over the top of the turkey. And then what I'm going to do is put some olive oil so the butter doesn't burn. I'm going to throw it in a bag. And I got this stuff right here. So today is Tuesday. I had this turkey out Sunday. It was frozen on Sunday. I took it out and I let it sit until uh, Monday. Monday morning, I threw it back into the fridge and I let it sit there till now. It's completely unfrozen. I washed it, I cleaned it. Make sure you guys wash it, clean it really good. Sometimes there's like little feathers and like some nasty stuff that you gotta cut out, which I already did. And basically, like I was saying, I'm gonna throw it in a bag, add this stuff into it. Let's see if it shows what it is. And let it marinate in there until Thursday. And then on Thursday, I'll throw it in the oven. And stay safe. Peace out. Catch you guys on the next episode. Later.